one go. Hello, my name is Ron Tuttle. Uh, I'm with Salad Greenhouse, a Canadian company, and we have designed and developed a new greenhouse system for the production of salad vegetables. Um, the unique feature about our operation is that we generate our own heat and electricity on site, which may, uh, keeps our uh, production costs uh, uh, low and as a result contributes to our uh, efficiencies and enables uh, our produce to be sold at affordable rates. Uh, we will be producing a wide range of salad vegetables and the highlights of these uh, uh, vegetables are, in, are that they are all clean, uh, meaning that there are uh, uh, there's no bacteria, there are no uh, uh, algae or viral problems. Uh, they are extraordinarily healthy because we put uh, 52 minerals into uh, our uh, all of our crops, and the uh, as I said before, they are. Uh, they are pure insofar as that we use no herbicides and insecticides. Um, the big issue of our production is that it is profitable. It is quite profitable. We have, we have large markets because we are able to produce these uh, crops year round. We are able, uh, we're able to get a crop a month and uh, sometimes we're able to get a crop every three weeks. And this is in any weather and at, uh, in, most, in most locations on, uh, uh, where, where, there are, where there are markets. Um, the produce that we produce is very competitive. Uh, as I said before, it's, it's pure, it's clean, it's very healthy, and yet our prices are below uh, or at any field crops that are produced. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it, our production is year-round, and as I said before, our energy uh, is generated on-site from renewable fuels, and this makes our entire operation uh, quite sustainable. Uh, part of the sustainability is that the consumption of water is only one-tenth of that is uh, uh, generally required by crops in arid field conditions. So the uh, production advantages of having uh, one-tenth of the water consumption and uh, uh, the use of uh, renewable fuels makes it, uh, uh, contributes to our uh, uh, efficiencies in production. So we do have a very, very good uh, operation that provides uh, uh, as I said before, uh, outstanding uh, affordable produce, and we would like to think that it's the best on the planet. Excuse me, Mr. Teller, what type of renewable fuels are you talking about? Uh, the renewable fuels, Mike, are agricultural wastes, meaning everything from corn stalks to straw and forestry wastes, such as uh, 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 large uh, large wood chunks to uh, green waste, which is often found in municipalities, to sawdust and dusts. And uh, then there's uh, the big one, of course, which is uh, municipal solid waste, or MSW, which will be sorted and can be used as, uh, as a fuel. All of these fuels are uh, uh, formed into bales, which are about 100 pounds each and wrapped in plastics. And, uh, like in a plastic bag and used uh, uh, as, uh, as the fuel in our, uh, uh, in our uh, biomass boiler, which we call the buzzard. The buzzard, it'll, it'll eat anything. Uh, other fuels are, are everything from uh, carpets, tires, diapers, uh, construction waste, demolition waste, and that sort of thing that we can, uh, we can also burn. So there really is no, uh, uh, there's no lack of fuel but in those areas where there is a lot of sunlight, we can use solar fuel, uh, uh, solar energy uh, with solar collectors, or if we're lucky enough to find a geothermal source of energy, we can use hot water from the ground. So I'm mentioning that it's going to be sorted. What are you doing in the sorting? Taking up things like glass, rocks, concrete, uh, iron, aluminum, and that sort of thing that won't burn. The recyclable objects. Then. The recyclable objects, yeah. So in, in a sense, it's very... It's very good for the uh, municipalities that we uh, uh, approach with uh, 
uh, if we're to site, uh, site an operation next to a municipality who's got a garbage problem, well then uh, uh, we will use that garbage as a uh, source of uh, uh, fuel to generate electricity and uh, hot water for, for our buildings. And uh, uh, yeah, the, there, there are a lot of ramifications to, to that, but uh, uh, the, the, the fuels uh, such as MSW are, 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 are generally fairly abundant and they're fairly cheap. And sometimes we would get paid for the uh, uh, use of those fuels. And uh, in the case of renewable fuels like wood products and that sort of thing, uh, we would be, uh, uh, we could uh, apply for carbon credits. And I think they're at about $15, $15 a ton. So essentially, in the fairly new future, I mean, we will be paid to burn the fuels that we're using for uh, uh, to generate uh, electricity and, and, and heat. Do you anticipate this in Warburg? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, what you, what, what's your next step in Warburg as you're progressing now? Uh, we uh, uh, we're very close to buying 40 acres. Uh, we got the. Uh, I'm just waiting for the consent of uh, one of the uh, one of the sons of the owner. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to go through, and then uh, uh, we're uh, going to uh, start lining up the graders for uh, springtime construction.